They claim to be nice guys, but we all know they're not. Welcome to this episode of Nice Guys. Our first post is by Velvetita, titled, How much do you want to bet she didn't unadd him for no reason? You guys wonder why I don't have a girlfriend or many relationships? Here's why. I was just talking to a girl, a good country girl, saving herself for marriage, which I respected, so I was gonna wait for her. We got along perfectly, not a single fight. We liked each other as much as I knew. We talked non-stop for a while, and it was great. I don't talk to many people to begin with. I thought things were going amazing. Out of nowhere, she ghosts me when I sent her a morning sunshine text. Turns out she unadded me for no reason at all, and to be honest, that's the lowest shit you can do by this point. Leave with no explanation. I'm antisocial, and if I, I meet someone in public and they did that, I'll be hurt. I did that for a long time. Then I got so insecure from that, I tried online dating. And now I don't even make it to the first fucking date because they will unadd me for no reason at all. This is why all the good guys don't have a relationship anymore, and don't look for one, so you girls throw yourselves at the douchebag, dickheads, and players, then complain about how they hurt you. You know what? Fuck you. I have no pity for you girls anymore. The person you should be pitying is yourself because you're going on this whiny rant instead of going through all of the times you've been ghosted, seeing what led up to that point, and then figuring out why exactly you got ghosted and fixing it. This next one is from Zetalina, titled, Imagine expecting girls to want to be with you when you can't even spell. Hmm, <laughs> not mine. Saw it in a Facebook group. Why am I single? <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking and telling myself this. I got a super great <laughs> one in a million unique personalities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm good looking. Okay. Lowly have money. Okay. <laughs> it can how to dress. Okay. <laughs> I got nice things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I drive my own car. Okay. <laughs> and a very nice one at that. Okay, I have a heart of gold. I'm loving, caring, and it can how to treat a woman. <laughs> I just don't get it. Never will I either. <laughs> oh, and another thing. <laughs> I'm very good in bed also. Fuck my life. <laughs> I got some news for you, nice guy. I feel like you're asking why you're single. It's this post. This post is the exact reason why you're single. Do you get that? Okay. This next one is by Frinkle77, titled, Chivalry Ain't Dead, Ladies. I bet you can't meet for a date in person like a big girl. I value love and chivalry. If you re brave enough to turn down a free meal, you re clearly not the one. Wait, so let me get this straight. If they go on a date with you but don't accept you buying their meal, they're not worthy? Hmm, how many first dates have you actually had? This next one is from Holly on Travel, titled, My friend definitely dodged a bullet with that one. Oh my god, you left so many snacks here. I'll become so round this weekend. <laughs> That's good. Bambi, wanna eat with me this week? Hey Chris, I hope you're doing well. Unfortunately, I don't think we should see each other again. But I wish you luck and stay safe and healthy. <laughs> Dear... You're the definition of a cheap bumble slut. No one asks you out because of your fat ass. I was even shocked how uneducated you are. You seem quite cheap and available. That's it. Hope you're happy with, and good luck. Hey Chris, it seems like you're upset that you got shut down. They could have ghosted you, but instead they told you. Resorting to insults shows that you're actually the uneducated one who doesn't understand that. This next one is by Mr. Beefy, titled, Nice Guy Wants a Raise. The friend zone isn't just a woman who makes you their friend. It's a woman who expects you to do all the hard work of being her boyfriend without any of the good parts. It's like having a job where they give you more responsibility, but try to get away without giving you a raise. From my understanding, every relationship takes work, but you can't compare that to an actual job you go to and work every day and get paid for. This next one is from Sir Wasabi, titled, Chill Out, They Probably Don't. 
Someone, somewhere, has the biggest crush on you right now. <laughs> yeah, right! Best joke I've heard in a while! <laughs> they don't want the good ones. No, they want the good ones, they just don't want the whiny ones like you. This next one is by Sully2813, titled, From a Former High School Friend's Snap Story. You know what's sad? The females can't see when a guy is just being nice. Like, I understand most guys want sex and nudes, but not all of us are bad people. It was kinda sad to see that people think you're automatically gonna ask for nudes. It's hurtful to us good guys, because the bad people ruin the chance of good guys meeting someone great. It's frustrating the way society works these days. I'm ashamed to be on Earth anymore. Right men were supposed to be raised to protect women, but when we stand up and defend them, we resimp. Like, what happened? What happened to respecting each other? I don't know about you, but finding friends is extremely hard. Because if you are drug addicted, sex addicted, or like to party hard, you aren't cool, and no one's gonna want to hang out anymore. It's so sad that a woman has to fear opening a snap from a boy and it turning out to be something inappropriate or them having to get used guys asking for nudes. What a shame. Here's the thing, a lot of people like to party, right? Okay, if you're not into partying, don't go after somebody that likes to party. You'll end up finding the right person. But instead, I feel like all of you nice guys keep going after people that are not right for you, and then want to complain about it. This next one is from Anon31415926535 titled, I helped my sister respond to a nice guy. I don't think he appreciates my humor. Will you gonna arrest me cause I'm a crook? I'm a good man at heart, and loyal, and loving. It's a long story why I do what I do to corporations, and it has to do with heartache. So don't be so quick to judge, Ms. Officer. I don't hurt people. I'm not a bully. I don't beat women. I have respect, manners, I'm loyal, I play hard, I fuck hard, I love hard, and I stand up for me and mines. So what else could you ask for? Sir, this is a Denny's. Eat dick, bitch. Hmm, okay. It never ceases to amaze me that the nice guys always go with insults after they give that long spiel about how they're nice, they're good people, they don't hurt people or anything like that, but then they turn around and just throw an insult. Yeah, really nice guy. And our final one is from Doe26 titled, Oh my god, someone I know just had this encounter. Oh, then I hope you are recovering well. And when you have recovered, would like to get a drink with you, if of course, that is cool with you. I have a boyfriend. Of course, I'll leave you be. Everyone has a goddamn boyfriend these days, even if they abuse them. Whatever, focus on recovering. Adiosum, adios. What the hell? I've been with my boyfriend two and a half years and he doesn't abuse me. I've literally just had surgery, and you're being like this because I have a boyfriend? Easier to just block you. Whatever, man. Be butthurt. I haven't done anything. Weak. Fat, ugly, weak. You deserve dwarf. I literally have a boyfriend, and you're going mad at me for it? The same day I've just had major surgery? Will you just fuck off and stop replying? It's amazing how these nice guys just can't take rejection, and they can't accept the fact that somebody they're trying to get with has a boyfriend. Then they want to freak out and throw insults. It just shows how big of a baby they really are, and they're not nice. Alright, that's enough nice guys. Well, that wraps up this episode of Nice Guys. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.